Hi, one and all. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to create fiber hinges for beams, columns, and shear walls in ETABS. Okay, so this is structure. I have designed it. I have assigned beam, column, shear wall, slabs, and other required properties. Okay. Now I just want to create a fiber hinge for beams, columns and shear walls. Let us see and start. Okay. First of all, I will just select object type to be beams. Okay. Select all the beams. Okay. After that, close. Now I will go to assign and I will go to frame after that hinge okay frame hinge assignment to be auto hinge okay and relative uh, length will be zero after that click add okay select here auto hinge type code if the code will be American Society of Civil Engineering code okay the latest version this one and after that select a hinge table okay so the table will be for concrete beam concrete beams flexural or item I this one okay and the degree of freedom will be in 3 which is for beams okay and the load combination okay I can define the load combination first just a moment I will go here and load combination default concrete frame design convert to user defined okay okay this is the load combo after that okay okay now we have the load combination I will go to the same frame section hinge okay auto hinge the relative distance will be zero add select the code American Society of Civil Engineering code okay and the table will be concrete beams flexural okay after that degree of freedom will be in 3 and the load combination let's see this one okay and reinforcement will be from current design or or you can select also user defined okay but i will use this one okay after that okay now again i will put here one as the relative distance for beams after that add it is the same as we have defined for zero relative distance okay I will select the code and concrete beam table and uh, data freedom will be three the load combination will be this one or I can change okay and other things will be the same after that okay now I have defined the fiber hinge for beam I will just select okay and the hinge will be created for each and every beam of this structure okay let's see yes the beams okay have assigned the hinge for whole structure you just look here okay for the confirmation I've, I'm going to define after that section properties in frame wall nonlinear hinge I will just confirm from here whether I have assigned the hinges for beams or not I will just show generated properties look here we have 
defined and created the hinge for B okay it is a backbone curve and other specifications immediate occupancy life safety work ellipse prevention etc okay so now I am going to create the fiber hinge for columns okay I will just press clear display of a science okay now I will select object type columns here select close all columns have been selected okay after that I follow the same procedure as we have done in case of beams okay beams in columns have the same uh, uh, hinge assigning procedure I will just go to assign frame hinges okay the relative distance will be zero the same as for beams after that add here I will select the code the same code and here the table will be for concrete columns okay here the degree of freedom will be for columns P to M3 and the gravity and gravity and lateral loads you can change the combination or other things okay and uh, shear demand at flexural yielding by shear capacity will be program calculated or you can change it to the user defined or user specified shear demand as well okay and the shear reinforcement uh, also you can change okay and other things now I will click okay this time I will just put a value relative distance will be one for column after that add select a code this one okay and the table will be the same as for zero relative distance okay the degree of freedom will be this one okay and uh, you can change the load case combo or you can remain as it is okay and other things it is your choice for I think this will be good that program uh, that program is going to calculate it okay after that okay so I have created the auto hinge for columns I will just okay and the hinge will be applied in the sign for all the columns for this structure look at it. yes elevation view okay so see the hinge for column for each column has been assigned okay you can confirm it from here you just go to section properties and frame wall nonlinear hinge this is for beam In this hinges type interaction P3 P3 3 will be and it is four columns. You can modify show properties as well. Okay, this is four column. Okay, now I'm going to create the hinge for shear wall I will just go to elevation view okay and I will clear display of a sign and I will select the shear wall story by story for accurate result
all shear walls has been selected. So after that I am going to assign. This time it is shell time. So I will go to shell, not a frame. And I will go to wall hinges. Okay. Wall hinges. Auto fiber PM3. PM3 is full. Walls, shear walls. I will add and I will just click replace existing assigns with specified assigns. Okay. After that, apply. Okay. Look here. The fiber hinges for wall for shear wall has been assigned for this uh, building. After that, I will get previous selection back and I will assign the hinge reinforcement for wall okay i will just go to reinforcement for wall hinge we will press this one here is three option is exist the first one is that you can use the reinforcement to be taken from current design okay the other option is that uniform rebar ratio can be added here okay the third one is specified rebar layout okay the third one just more here you will add rebar materials okay it is uh, starting and uh, thickness end zone okay and uh, flex drill details and shear in confinement details starting central and in confined unconfined okay also mm, materials area and other things okay you just put each and every value as given here and after that you can proceed further okay but at the moment i don't want to use this option i will just use that the second option which is uniform rebar ratio i will just put here that vertical rebar will be 0 0.011 okay and this one will be 0 0.0027 after that apply close okay the uniform hinge has been created you can just confirm here just go here and select frame wall hinge just look here all these are for walls wall hinge okay I'm just going to modify show properties. Here is okay. This this one is for concrete, and that blue one is for rebar or steel section. Okay. If you click each and every fiber, okay, it will be blacking. Just look here. I'll select this one. This fiber is blacking okay Let's see it should be everyone this is for concrete and this one is for steel okay so now we have assigned and uh, created the hinge for Beams, columns, and shear wall. Okay, just do it. Let's see, the fibers will be clearly visible. Okay, so after that, I just proceed for other load patterns and other things which required to be given for the structures when all the procedure is completed I am just going to analyze the structure so as I as I was already created the structure only the 
hinge was lift now I have assigned the hinge as well now I'm just going for run analysis okay the analysis is ready to run yes. after a while the analysis will be completed and we will just look at its results okay is completed okay now you just if you need you can extract the analysis result okay and whatever you need you can achieve okay thank you so much for your attention it was a lecture or tutorial about how to create or assign the hints for being columns in shareable thank you so much for your attention I hope you subscribe this channel to get notification for upcoming uploaded videos. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good time. Wish you all the best.